I'm Adam Moz, and this is Moz Models. Welcome back. Today we're going to go over a, one very, very quick item, which is going to bite a number of people in the near future. There's been a firmware update to the Archer Plus SRs, as well as the new TDSRs, that's the TDSR12, TDSR18, and I believe also the TWSR12. And this removes the panic functionality on channel 16. The reason for this is tied to the Archer Plus receivers and the R9 receivers. See, most of the R9 receivers and all of the R9 serial receivers put RSSI on channel 16. And that'll fluctuate around 0%. And what has happened is some pilots were out there, they set up an Archer Plus SR, they plugged in an R9SX or an R9MM. Uh, as the redundant receiver, they got up. Every, all the control worked just fine. Uh, they got up there, and as they flew away, as the RSSI dropped naturally, the plane went into panic mode, and they couldn't get it out. The reason for this is very simple. When the RSSI dropped below z the zero point, and it's encoded from minus 100 to plus 100, so zero is about an RSSI of 50. Uh, the RSSI on channel 16 dropped below zero and triggered panic. So, what is the solution for this? In the firmware, what FreeSky has done is removed the panic mode. Now, it's worth noting that on all of the SR and SXR series, as well as the RB30, 35, 40, and the 25S, all of the stabilized RBs, panic is just an alternate way of triggering self-level mode. It's not like on Spectrum where it's a separate flight mode with separate gains that happens to be self-level. In Spectrum, when you set up a panic, Traditionally, you put much more aggressive gains than you do on self-level mode. Uh, the end result of this is out-of-the-box self-level mode on Free Sky is much more aggressive. It's a bailout mode more than it is a regular flying mode. Although, if you turn down the gains in self-level mode, it can become a good flying mode for beginners. But, since the gains are the same, there's not a second set of gains for panic with one caveat there was a, you can have two separate master gains you can't have low base gains in self level mode and then have a separate gain setting for panic where you're you're actually changing the gain channel value the master gain but we're not going to get into that what we're going to do is simply go over how do you get panic back how do you get your emergency self level Personally, I don't use self-level very much except for launch modes and as a fail-safe or panic mode. Uh, you lose orientation on the airplane if I've got self-level. Yeah, I'll do it. I'd rather use that than crash an airplane. But the way I'm set up is a launch mode for something like my Aeros Viper or a fail-safe mode for something like the Mall. I'm not likely to get ever get into enough trouble to need self-level mode on the Mall. But... If something goes wrong, my radio dies on me, whatever, I want that wings level, circling dot with the power cut. That's my uh, fail safe on every airplane I set up with a stabilizer that can do self level. Safest way to come down. In a circle, wings level, no power. So let's go on here. We're in mall number two model, and this is the model I set up to account for the new firmware versions on the SR10 Plus. When I built them all, I used an SR10 Plus on the original 1.02 firmware. That firmware has the old Archer SR style channel mappings. Uh, it only does five channels of stabilization in both uh, Access and ACCST, and it's got your controls from 9 to 12. As of 1.05, it's got the new style where it's got ten, in access mode there's 10 channels of stabilization and you have your control channels from 13 to 16 or from 1.08 13 to 15 because 16 doesn't do anything anymore so the first thing we need to do is 
get rid of the mix on channel 16. That doesn't do anything anymore. Next up we're going to go into stab mode and I've set this up as a free mix. That is not good so we're actually going to remove this. We're not going to rename. What? There we go. Now we're going to go and we're going to add a var mix. Last position. This is going to be called stab mode because I don't ever call my stabilizer ones flight mode so that I know the difference between controlling at the radio, flight modes, controlling at the receiver, stab modes as I call them. Yes, they are flight modes in the receiver side. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add one, and this is SF up. And, oh, yeah. We're going to set this to minus 100. In this particular case, minus 100 is your self level mode, zero is rate stabilization, and 100 is everything off. Be aware of that because if you don't set anything up, you're always going to get rate stabilization if the stabilizer is enabled. Now, oh, actually, whoops. I used the wrong switch. Yeah. Set this to zero. And set this to minus 100%. And now we go down here and we go to channel 14, stab mode, and everything's good. Actually, we have to go do a reverse because I had reversed that channel so that I got my switch positions right. So there we've got it. Now I'm going to go back. We've done all the programming. As you can see, it's super quick. And I'm going to talk about one thing. The order matters. And it doesn't matter everywhere, but in, in Varmix and in just about everything in Ethos, the, the top non-default line is the highest weight and it's weight in order. So right now you can see I have SB down is active, so it's stabilization mode. And actually, we'll go into SB mid because that's zero. And then when I go over and I pull SF, that activates and it overrides. If these were in the opposite order, you would not see that override. For example, if we went and we just reversed these, so. We'll just re we'll do all the programming so it will actually be correct. Set that one to minus 100. See, I'm pulling this and nothing's happening because SB is already active and the topmost one takes priority. This is key if you've already got a VAR mix set up for your flight modes. You've got to go and use the top line as your panic mode and then add a new line for the line you just replaced. Typically, if you've got everything on one switch, the overall order doesn't matter that much. But once you start mixing switches and you want something to override other settings, you've got to pay attention to that order. It is absolutely critical. So now we'll just go set this back.
And you notice how I pull and then I tap. That's so, because if you pull and do anything with a momentary, it has to be active when you clear the screen or you'll get the wrong position. Okay. There we go. And now things are back and working. And that's it. We have duplicated our panic mode using an activation of self-level mode on channel 14 to make up for the fact that channel 16 no longer does anything on the latest firmware for the Archer Plus SR, that's 1.08 and later, as well as the TDSRs and the TWSRs. I'll ha I have to cross-check, but my expectation is this functionality is also going to come to the RB35S and RB25S doesn't affect the 30 and 40 and the 30 plus because they have the old style stabilization system with Panic on channel 12, which doesn't conflict with RSSI from an R9.